I'm Gavin Morris, the new director at the South African Jewish Museum. Robert asked me to put together this brief presentation to inform you as to what the museum has been up to of late and what our plans are going forward. We have recently completed the first phase of an extensive maintenance and renovations program. The museum closed on the 26th of July to allow for the necessary repairs and reopened on the 13th of August. During this period, the interior and exterior of the building was repainted. All graphics, most of which had faded over time, were replaced, and damaged models and displays were repaired. The museum now looks as fresh and as new as it did on the day it opened 12 years ago. The second phase of the maintenance project is to refresh the museum's content and displays. Planning for this is underway under the direction of René Savan, who originally consulted on the museum. Changes to displays will be implemented gradually over the next year. In the short term, we will be updating much of the audiovisual technology utilised in the museum, as this is particularly dated. We will also focus on expanding the religious artefacts presented in the old shul, redesigning particularly dated sections of the museum, including a tribute to Mendel and his legacy, and we will explore how best to create a children's space within the museum. I am happy to report that all staff who had previously resigned have returned to work at the museum. A training course for new volunteer guides is currently underway. This will be the first time that new guides have been trained since the opening of the museum. Employment contracts have also been formalised for all museum staff. The museum has three main streams of income, entrance fees, parking fees and shop sales. Entrance fees to the museum have been increased to 40 rand for adults, 25 rand for pensioners and students, and children under 16 remain free. These price points are comparative to similar private institutions in the area. Parking fees have remained constant and are subject to inflation-linked annual increases. We are investigating an updated access control system for the parking lot, as we have found that the current system was being abused. We are also looking at tarring the parking lot as it has deteriorated rapidly. The museum shop was redesigned a year ago and its product range expanded. We have experienced a relative increase in sales as a result. We have embarked on developing an educational outreach program. Under the direction of Marlene Silbert, who designed a similar program for the Holocaust Centre, we are building a program guided by the requirements of the National Schools Curriculum. We have identified grades 6 to 8 as the appropriate age group for this program. We aim to implement this program from the beginning of 2013, with a special focus on schools from disadvantaged communities. A part-time educational supervisor will be hired to supervise this program once it's operational. Once the educational program has been approved by the authorities, corporate sponsors will be approached to sponsor a fixed number of visits per year for students from disadvantaged schools as part of their corporate social investment initiatives. We foresee that the educational program will become the central focus of the museum's activities. An updated brand identity has been developed for the museum. These are some samples of the updated logos. A redesign of the museum's website is being planned. This is integral to the modernization of the museum. A digital presence is an essential tool in marketing the museum and our website needs to be much more innovative and informative. Added functionality, including social media, Kaplan Center projects such as the Jewish Digital Archives Project and the SA Jewish Roots Bank will be integrated into the website. We are also looking to raise the profile of the SAJM via PR, social media and cooperative projects with other institutions. We've recently had a successful PR initiative when Good Hope FM hosted a live broadcast from the museum. The museum currently has a number of new temporary exhibitions in the works. We are hosting a group exhibition of Jewish South African photographers exploring the concept of home. This forms part of the Cape Town Month of Photography the exhibition opened on the 20th of September and will run for approximately six weeks. It is also in keeping with our strategy of integrating the SAJM into the wider cultural activities taking place in Cape Town. To this end, dialogues have been established with a variety of role players in the Cape Town cultural scene. Following on from the month of photography will be the main exhibition for the summer months. The Jews of District 6, Another Time, Another Place. This exhibition will open on the 11th of November and run through the summer season. In 2013, we will be hosting a major exhibition of the works of Samuel Beck, a world-renowned artist and Holocaust survivor. This exhibition will be curated by the artist himself. 
In between the major exhibitions, we will host a number of smaller scale exhibitions and events. This is a strategy we've decided to undertake in order to entice as wide an audience as possible to the museum and to keep the visitor experience fresh. In addition to exhibitions, the museum will host a number of regular events such as film and book launches, talks and group tours. That then is a brief overview of what the museum has been up to since I began my tenure. The museum forms an essential role in demystifying the South African Jewish community and our community's involvement within the wider South African society. And I believe that this is an incredibly noble cause and something that I look forward to continuing the good work that the museum has done since its inception and for many years to come. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I look forward to meeting you all when I have the opportunity. Thank you.